good morning the students of intermediate level uh, i'm here again in front of you to deliver my third lecture on gap filling with phrases and words actually you know those who are with me uh, till today and you know i have already conducted two classes on gap filling with phrases and words and within our two classes we have been able to learn eight important words and phrases which are really important for your examinations so my dear students uh, i don't want to waste a single second i'd like to start with some more important phrases and words today we are going to talk about five important phrases uh, these important phrases will help you to make good sentences in the part of completing sentence so my dear students like other days i would like to have your participation in my today's class and i hope you will enjoy and you are requested to be alert in the comment box with your positive comments you can ask a lot of questions if you find it difficult to understand me so my dear students let us not waste a single moment let us start our learning process for today at first let us have our numbering system words or phrases number eight or nine uh, in our last class we completed up to eight phrases and words today i'd like to start with phrase number or you can say phrase number nine and the first one is uh, i'm not going to give you the phrase i'd like to give you the problem at first and you are requested to find out the phrase that we need to talk about look at the board ronnie is willing to get an American visa. Ronnie is willing to get an American visa if he wants to advance the process he must dash ensure a good score in IELTS. Look at, look at the board. Ronnie is willing to give an, get, uh, sorry, it should be get. Ronnie is willing to get an American visa if he wants to advance the process he must dash ensure a good score in IELTS the students what should be the answer what should be the answer I'd like to have I'd like to have a look towards your answer Koshik thank you okay thank you thank you okay you are excellent in terms of giving the answer thank you Dia Disha thank you you have written have to Rafi Sheikh have to thank you look at the board if Ronnie wants to advance the process of getting American visa there is an obligation and what is the obligation he must he must need a good score in IELTS here we have got obligation look at the word this is very very important and the answer should be have to so our target is 
टू लर्न हैव टू ओके नाउ आई लाइक टू टेल यू वाई एंड हाउ वी कैन इंश्योर द यूज ऑफ हैव टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज हैव टू यू मस्ट हैव टू एक्सप्रेस ऑब्लिगेशन और यू कैन से कॉम्पलशन okay so have to is used have to is used to express compulsion in a sentence okay here have to carries the same meaning carries the same meaning of must okay i'd like to give you another example we will avail ourselves of the train at 6 am we will avail ourselves of the train at 6 am we dash very early look at we will avail ourselves of the train at 6 am we dash get up very early what does it mean it means if we need to if we want to avail the train at 6 am there is an obligation we must have to we must have to get up in the morning that's why we can use have to or you can say must here must will not be given in the box in the box have to will be given the students beside have to you can use has to you can use had to okay if the subject is third person singular if the subject is third person singular you have to use has to and if the tense belongs to past if we use past tense you need to use had to okay so my dear students up to this part we have learned have to has to and had to these all are used to express obligation or compulsion what is the bengali meaning of compulsion and obligation who can tell me what is the bengali meaning of compulsion or obligation write in the comment box obligation obligation compulsion in bengali okay uh it is noun obligation is a noun compulsion is a noun and do you know the word obligatory can i say com pal compulsory okay this is noun this is noun an adjective form of obligation is obligatory and adjective form of compulsion is compulsory thank you so uh, i can think that you have understood me now i'd like to start with our 10th phrases and words i have a question right now w what do you think whether question number 3 that is gap filling with suitable words and phrases is difficult or easy what do you think we are we are conducting our third class today what do you think have you understood but do you think that this grammatical item is easy or what do you think whether this grammatical item is difficult uh, this is the this is the easiest this is the easiest grammatical item okay that we are talking about 
and uh, I will take another class. I will take another class on gap filling with words and phrases. And I would request the administration to arrange an extra class because we are taking four classes on gap filling with words and phrases. We have another two grammatical items left. If we can learn three grammatical items completely, we will be able to have an excellent preparation for your upcoming class test two. This time, we will try our level best to complete the whole syllabus. Okay. I am taking third class and I will take another class and this class will be an extra class. It might take in the it might take place in the morning. That means at 9 a.m. even. Uh, we will we will request the administration to arrange an extra class on gap filling with words and phrases so that we can get more time to complete completing sentence and write forms of verb. And don't forget that we have three or two units of English past paper. Okay, so my dear students, let us start with phrase number 10. This is very, very important. This is very, very important and at the same time, you can feel that this is extremely easy. Which one? I'm not going to take you. I'm not going to write down the word and phrase. You have to find out. I will give you the problem. Number 10, look at. Mohan Roy is a teacher of Rashahi. A dash in nineteen eighty eight in the district. of Chattogram. Mohan Roy is a teacher of Rashai. He dashed in 1988 in the district of Chattogram. What do you think the answer should be? What do you think the answer should be? And you have already got that the answer should be was born. Was born. Okay. This is your answer and in the box, in the box, definitely 2 plus, sorry, in the box, there will be B plus born. Okay, in terms of the but of a man, we use this B plus born, that is was born. Be careful. We must have to, we must have to do it in passive voice. Okay, we must have to do it in passive voice and answer should be was born. This is extremely easy. Okay, this is extremely easy, my dear students. So, we have talked about B plus born or 2B plus born. Okay, our next target is We have already completed our 10th one, now 11. This one, this 11, number 11 phrase must be given in your final exam. I can assure this, this one will be given in your exam. So, we need to learn this phrase very, very carefully. Okay, look at at first, at first, I would like to give you the problem and you have to give me the solution and after your solution, I will write out the name of the phrase. Okay, look at. Since morning,
seem to be very ailing since morning you seem to be very ailing uh, you dash a uh, doctor this is the problem tell me the please this is the problem tell me the solution or give me the solution okay the students give me the solution we are talking about phrase number 11 and i haven't written the name of the phrase but i have given you a problem and here this phrase will be used our target phrase will be used what is your target phrase i don't know tell me the name of the target phrase Mahmoud Hassan, thank you. No, sorry, sorry. Afsar Ibn, thank you. Abdurrahman, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Taufik Eli, I'm sorry. Smile Hussain, thank you. Diyadisha, thank you. Shamia Fiddos, thank you. Onik Roy, thank you. Samin Islam, thank you. Okay, some of you are writing the correct answer while some of the students are making mistakes. Okay, now we are talking about actually and better. The students, this phrase, this phrase written at question uh, serial number 11 is really important for question number 3. Definitely one question will be given. One question must be given from head better. And this head better is also important for question number 4. What does question number 4 contain? Question number 4 contains completing sentence. You must, you will be given another question in the part of completing sentence related to had better. So, we need to learn, we need to learn where we should use had better. I am going to write down a line regarding the rules of the use of had better. I am going to give you a line which carries the rule of using had better. Look at so it should be have better look at i am going to give you the rule of using have better okay have better is used Dear student, this is really important. Had better is used to give advice. Had better is used to give advice. Look at please. Had better is used to give advice. I can say in a particular situation had better is used to give advice in a particular situation especially when you want look at please especially when you want to ensure want to ensure you avoid when you want to ensure you avoid a negative outcome okay this is very very important this is very very important had better used to give advice so, in terms of giving advice, in terms of giving advice, we will use had better. 
definitely after head better definitely after head better you must have to use the best form of the verb i will talk about later on head better is used to give advice in a particular situation especially when you want to ensure if avoid a negative outcome this is important you are told to do something if you if you do this you will be able to avoid to avoid a negative consequence or outcome in that case we will use had better we will use had better i'm going to give you an example you want quick result you dash you want quick result you dash you dash tech help from an honest man look at please you want quick result you want quick result that is you are expecting a result quickly if you want to get this result quickly you have to take help from an honest man if you don't take if you don't take any help from an honest man definitely you will not get quick result that's why someone is giving you advice so that you can avoid negative consequence or outcome okay here my dear students here you can use have to also here you can use you can use have to also but one question should be kept in mind when you are in the examination hall answering question number three be careful there will be 10 blanks if you get two phrases like have to and had better suppose you have you have got two phrases have better and have to then you have to decide then you have to decide which one will be appropriate for which sentence if you get one just if you get had better or have to just one is given either had better or have to then your things will be easy for you to write or find out but if you get both had better and have to in the box then you have to be very careful in choosing the answer of the sentences okay if you get one you will not feel any problem but if you get two both of these two definitely you have to be very careful in choosing okay so my dear students here we have to use had better here you can also use have to but one thing should be kept in mind we know that after have has had having get feel become have has had having get feel become after this auxiliary verb we need to use the past participle form of the verb the student this is a rule of right forms of verb after have has had get feel become we have to use the past participle form of the verb you know that do you know modal auxiliary do you know modal auxiliary modal auxiliary modal auxiliaries are shall should may might can could will would must need dear these are modal auxiliaries if you put two if you put two after am is or was or or have has had these things also work as modal auxiliaries for example tell should may might can could will would must need dear am to is to are to was to or to have to has to had to shall have to will have to these things work as modal auxiliaries okay after modal auxiliary after modal auxiliary we have to use the base form of the verb you know that you know that after modal auxiliary you have to use the base form of the verb now one another thing had better the students had better had rather would better would rather i have given you four phrases 
Had better, had rather, would better, would rather. Look at please. Had better, had rather, would better, would rather. After these things, you have to use after these words, had better, had rather, would better, would rather. After these words or phrases, you have to use the best form of the verb, okay? After have, has, had, you have to use the past participle form of the verb. But after had better, had rather, would better, would rather, you have to use the past participle, uh, best form of the verb. Clear to you? So, my dear students, this is very, very important. Definitely, you will get one question from had better. Definitely, you will get one question from had to. Okay? So, let us start our third phrase for today. Sorry, fourth one. Fourth one mean? means number 12 uh, this is very very important this is very very important definitely another question will be given from this one another question will be given from the topic that I am going to talk about right now okay my father my father is Totally an honest man. My father is totally an honest man. He dash serve then cheat other people to earn money okay look at please look at please he dash stop then cheat other people he dash stop then cheat other people what do you think the answer please show me the answer and i'd like to have a look oh sharka thank you thank you shaun thank you bipul thank you hafiz roman correct rifat correct onik correct tabera correct what are my others shitol thank you Shital is really excellent. Excellent. Okay, Sinanuddin, thank you. Shakawat, you are right. Shipra, you are right. Alamin, right. All of you are right. Thank you. Durjoy, thank you. Onupam, tickets. Okay, 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 okay. Habibur Rahman, okay. But those who are starting with capital W, your answer is not correct. Those who are using capital W, your answer is not correct. Be careful. Here we have to use would rather. Would rather. My, my students, why should we use would rather? Now we have to learn where we should ensure the use of would rather. Okay. Look at please. Would rather is used when we express alternative. Okay. In order to in order to choose an alternative, in order to choose an alternative, we have to use would rather. Would rather. Clear to you? This is very very important. Would rather. Look at this. 
ওই ড্যাশ ডাই দেন টেক ব্রাইম উই ড্যাশ ডাই দেন টেক ব্রাইম লুক এট ইউ হ্যাভ টু ইউ হ্যাভ টু অপশন হিয়ার the students you have two options the first one is you can die the second one is you can take bribe which one you are going to take what is your target alternative your target alternative is you you will choose die but you will not take bribe in this case this is your alternative in order to express the alternative we have to use old rather okay uh dear students question comes in university admission test from this one now i'm going to give you a question related to the use of or rather and you have to give me the solution you have to find out the answer i'm going to give you four options you have to select the most appropriate answer look at The question is choose the best option. Option A I would rather I would rather I would rather serve then to to steal money i would rather starve than to steal money number 1 number b i would rather to starve then to steal money option c i would rather to serve than steal money number fourth one i would rather serve than steal money i have given you four options now i have given you four options now find out the best one now find out the best option please thank you thank you sabrina thank you rubiul thank you norin okay what are my other students why are you not why are you not active in the comment box mushfiq thank you amit thank you masum billa you are absolutely correct all of you are correct as you are all of you are correct i will not talk about uh would rather anymore let us start another one now 13th one uh at first at first i'd like to give you an example and i requested to find out the target price okay look at the girl proceeded dash she had been 
the winner. What should be the answer? What should be the answer? The girl proceeded, dash, she had been the winner. Yes? Okay, Sizan, thank you. Sheetal, thank you. Ismail, okay. Rahul, okay. Mahamudul Hassan, thank you. Mehdi Hassan, you are not correct. Bipul Roy, thank you. Tahikul, thank you. Rabbi, okay. What are my other students? Rabbi Ulbasha, thank you. Masum Billa, okay. Done, done. Shamim Roni, thank you. Durjoy, thank you. Okay, you are doing really well. Definitely the answer should be as if or as though. Okay, so now our target is as if or as though. Okay. The students, as if as though, as if as though is important for question number three but as if as though as if and as though are important more important for question number four definitely as if and as though are important for gap filling with phrases and words part but these are more important for question number four which contains completing sentences and you can be given question related to right form of verb from this as if or as though now i'd like to tell you i'd like to tell you where we can use as if and as though okay look at as if or as though as if or as though is used at the middle of a sentence at the middle of a sentence Be, just before as if or as though one event one event is used and after as if or as though after as if or as though you have to you have to imagine something or you have to have a comparison you must have to ensure either imagination or comparison depending on the event okay you will get an event before as if or as though depending on the event you have to imagine or compare something after as if or as though okay so i can use here imagination or comparison okay uh, in order to in order to learn effectively you can listen to me very carefully this is really important to understand as if as though don't memorize the rules and regulations from the book try to understand them clearly okay so before as if as though you will get an event and depending on the event you have to imagine or compare something okay if event is in present indefinite if event is in present indefinite definitely you have to use past indefinite for imagination okay if you get past indefinite if you get past indefinite in the event part you have to use you have to use past perfect okay you know i'm sure you people know this rule okay so uh, you have to you have to learn this one uh, before as it was though you will get an event and you have to 
you have to ensure imagination and comparison depending on the event okay if you get even in present in the fit in order to complete the sentence you have to use past in the fit okay if you get past in the fit before as if or as though after as if or as though you have to use past perfect okay uh, another example should be given here some people behave as though blah 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 write down the answer in the comment box some people behave as though blah 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 i want to get your answer i'm talking about question number three but i have given you a question with the format of completing sentence now give me a perfect sentence you of this one okay tell me some people behave as though what should be answer what should be the answer Hafiza, thank you. I can see you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, dear students, one thing. Stop, stop writing. You know just one example and that is he knew everything, he knew nothing. Please avoid this type of very common examples. Write something different. He knew everything, he had known everything. Oh, most of the students use this example. But we don't, we, we will not use this sentence. Let us invent something attractive. Attractive examples should be given. Here, I have, a, I have a suggestion for you. Those who are, those who get good marks. For example, you have written a sentence. This sentence is really easy to understand and you have been given 10 out of 10 but if you write attracting examples and get 10 out of 10 definitely you will be honored in your writing part you can you can attack the teacher with your attractive presentation if if your teachers get attracted to your excellent presentation they will give you good marks in your writing side so my dear students Avoid using very traditional sentences. Write something attractive. Okay. Okay. Uh, what should be the answer? They are gangsters. My God. This one. Some people behave as the excellent answer. They were. Gangsters. Anything else? Anything else? they bought they bought a revolution thank you they were the blah 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 okay thank you they were actor okay they are firefighters thank you they were landlord excellent they were queen <laughs> they are mad okay they are mad oh, okay this type of example is written in the book they are mad they were they knew everything okay 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 can i give you you are requested to invent something attractive look at this some people behave as though they exercised supreme power as they exercise supreme power of the high officials can i say that can i say that some people behaved as though they exercise supreme power of the high officials okay you can create your good examples okay you can create but you have to have your willingness my dear students, we have talked about 13 important words and phrases. Okay. 
I would like to stop here for today. I'd like to take one more class. I'd like to take one more class on this topic. That is question number three. Uh, as I have completed 14 words on phrases, another four or five are left. In my next class, I will talk about another four or five important phrases and words. And in that upcoming class, I want you to have some practice session. I will create some slides for you. And inside the slides, there will be questions. There will be model questions on gap filling with phrases and words. We will, we will show or we will think, we will determine whether we can get the answers or not in our upcoming class. Okay. I am going to repeat, I will create some questions for you depending on question number 3 and you will be given practice sheet during live class and with that practice session we will come to an end regarding gap filling with phrases and words and after completing gap filling with phrases and words that is question number 3. Uh, I might start English first paper. So, my dear students, uh, thank you for being with me. I have really enjoyed your comments in the comment box. Willing to have active and more participation in the upcoming days. And willing to stop here. Once again, I am going to wish you from the core of heart. Thank you. Goodbye.